So WWE ran in Madison Square Garden last night, and uh, I've got to ask ask you a question, Dave. Okay, there's a lot of questions right now. So I I actually want to talk about... Well, hold on. Let me me just say this. Okay. Does this guy have any idea what he's doing? Which guy? Vince. I will tell you that when I saw what happened, I thought like did something change because this was a such a okay so essentially here's what happened okay so this is as this is what's taped i mean they had a whole card and then and, and one real quick thing because okay, so randy orton wrestled on the card. randy orton was hurt on monday okay he would he was we we you know we talked about that he was hurt but obviously not hurt bad because he you know he wrestled tonight i mean if he was hurt bad maybe he would do monday but he could certainly take the weekend off in fact, they actually added his match at the very end. So Gable and Otis beat Randy Orton and Riddle at the Garden tonight. But um, so the the big thing, which was filmed, is uh, Brock Lesnar defending against a mystery opponent who turns out to be Austin Theory. And yes, everybody groaned. I groaned reading it. I heard when people saw dude, it, they couldn't believe it. Dude, listen, hold on a second. Before we even go any further, they were not happy with how Madison Square Garden had been drawing in the past. No. And so they've been hyping up on television and trying to sell tickets to this show and talking about Brock Lesnar getting beating, beaten before WrestleMania. All this bullshit, and then they bring out Austin Theory as the mystery. Like, so, okay, so you sold some tickets this time, but who's going to come out to this show next time when you do this kind of hype? Okay, well, here's the thing. they Because it's so long before they go back... They may not like if they were coming back next month. They think people yeah. are stupid. If they were coming back next month, they're they're going to do you know four thousand people, maybe less. Yes, they would. You know, they do a one minute twenty five second main event. They put Austin Theory in the main event after promising you know a world class mass square garden level opponent, um, and then at the end, you know, which is the most ironic thing of all, Roman Reigns you know beats him down and Lesnar bleeds like crazy. So it's like all this talk. We Wait don't. Wait a have second. Blood. You're telling me he bled. He bled. That's the angle. You're yes. telling me that Brian Danielson is in AEW right now because he wasn't allowed to bleed, and then Roman Reigns bleeds. No, no, or no. Brock, Brock Lesnar? Lesnar. Brock Lesnar bled. Yes. Uh, Brock. Yeah. That? Yeah. It's pretty fucking weird, huh? It's not weird. It's you know they do blood at times. I mean, it's like Vince does not allow much blood. Very rare. Usually, you know. I, I, you know, I, I, when I think about it, it's usually like, you know, Brock Lesnar, because Brock kind of gets to do whatever he wants, which is one of the key things. And I guess, you know, to sell Madison Square Garden, I mean, to sell the WrestleMania match, he felt that it was time to bleed, you know? I mean, and he's very willing to do it, um, to build up a match. I mean, that's, so he did. But yeah, so he's bleeding, which is just hilarious because, how many times is you know that was the whole thing Vince used on AEW and everything like that is you know whatever but yeah they did the blood so anyway they did that and then Roman Reigns okay so the Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins was this is another weird one Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins is advertised <laughs> Roman and the Reigns last week, and Seth Rollins this is another good one okay so um, so the Lesnar match goes a minute and a half I think it was a minute and twenty five seconds or a minute thirty five something like that um, so Roman Reigns wrestles Seth Rollins. Or, or it was advertised for Seth Rollins. And the week before, they pull it for Roman Reigns to have a mystery opponent. And it turns out to be Seth Rollins. I mean, why would you pull the advertising? And Roman Reigns beats him in, like, literally five minutes with a guillotine. I mean, it's like, it's not even that they go out there, well, we're going to do a one-minute-and-a-half main event. So Roman and Seth, you know, pick up the slack, do a good 20-minute match, give the people a great match. No, they do a five-minute, you know... You know, sort of. I mean, I guess the. You know, I mean, I know the deal is is that Roman and Brock just destroy everyone. That's the thing. But you know, I mean, or it's like it's like Seth. You know, like Seth's like one of their top guys. I mean, he's whatever. So anyway, they do that. That's what happened. And then um, Ronda Rousey and Naomi beat Shayna Baszler. Um, not Shana, uh, they beat um, Charlotte Flair and Sonya Deville when. Um, uh, Ronda tapped out um, Charlotte with the armbar. So, in fact, that's what they did there. So, um, I guess that was something that they gave them is a Charlotte Flair tap out. But, uh, yeah, the. 
even that one, it's like, what'd you do that for? <laughs> like, of all of the decisions, I also well, you had that the, the, yeah, the, the the challenger, the challenger beats the champion by tap out, I you guess. know, right before the pay per view. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I, you know, I would have thought they would beat Deville, but it's better to beat Rousey, really. Uh, I mean, better to beat uh, Flair, really. So there's nothing. I mean, it's probably the right call, but. Um, but man, that Austin Theory thing, and um, just I heard so much negativity coming out of it, and it's like, yeah, if they had a show, if they were going to come back to the Garden, um, now they're going to do a uh, Barclays, and that has a bad advance right now. That's um, they've they've got that on uh, one of the TVs, you know, going in, you know, this month, later in the month. So they are actually coming back to the market very soon. It's just incredible because, like, when I when I want to give my business to a company. I want to feel like, you know, I gave I gave the company my money and the company did their best to like well, here, 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 give me my money's worth. This okay. is like if I would have given them my money, this would have felt like, all right, we got we got his money, so fuck him. We're just gonna yeah. But you know, I mean, I mean this theory is, in the main event. We got his money yeah, already. Yeah, but I, I mean, should like, never feel like that. You know, they charge five hundred dollars for ringside. Yeah. I mean, this is the highest I bet price. those people were the, thrilled. Yeah. I mean the garden's the highest price ticket. Um, that they that you know of any arena they run because of the highest cost um, to run it. So um, yeah, I mean it's like and and they got you know I mean the gate was probably really big um, you know and it was all because of the TV hype. I mean because the advance until Ronda was announced because even with Brock the advance wasn't that great you know and they even with Roman and everything like that because they they come too often and they're cold in the market and all that you know um so they go in there and they hype the thing and they basically tell you you're gonna get this great angle and they did get an angle but you know you you know when Lashley's out of the match and then I mean replacing with Austin Theory I mean it's like you know you could have done Drew McIntyre, you could have done Randy Orton, you could have done something, you could have done Kevin Owens, right? I mean, his, was there, and all he did was, um, you know, he's supposed to, he's a heel, and all he did was stun the Miz and Miz TV. So it's like it's not like you could have put Kevin Owens in the spot, right? And you know, Kevin Owens at least, you don't groan. I mean, it's like, I mean, I mean, yeah, the people you know who all expected it was going to be Cody Rhodes. I mean, they did nothing to tell you it was going to be Cody Rhodes. That's on the fans who thought that, but the fact is, is that even even though they didn't tell you, man, that uh, Austin Theory, that's a, I don't know, man, putting that's a ballsy move and one that I would never do to my customers, man. That's that was, I, I again, I can't, I can't even. I was stunned. I was stunned at that. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button. And when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.